Hey guys, welcome back to Tiny House Customs. I'm Dan, and in today's video, I'm going to be hooking up my water pump system. I'm going to have a filter right here, which will catch all the sediment from the tanks. It'll then run through the SureFlow pump. The link for all this stuff will be in the description below. And then I have an accumulator tank, which will hold four gallons of water. And this is Water Worker. All this stuff was bought on Amazon. Um, and I'm going to be using PEX tubing in this. So I have this PEX crimping kit. It does three quarter, half inch, three eighths, and one inch. Eighty dollars. I got a tube cutter, and then I got about two hundred dollars worth of fittings. And most of that will do the rest of the house. I mean, I bought pretty much all the plumbing to to get to the sinks and the shower and stuff like that. I also got a silcock, which will go on the outside of the house. So disclaimer on this video, I'm not a licensed plumber. I am YouTube educated as well as phone and plumber friends. And I know I'm gonna be doing some of the stuff in here that's probably not correct, but overall the system will work. So with that said, if you don't understand plumbing, hire a plumber and come do that. But this will save me a small fortune, so. I'm just going to do it. So I'm going to start out by hooking the fittings up to the accumulator tank. The way the accumulator tank works is there is a, a rubber diaphragm inside of this bottom of the tank and the rest of this is filled with compressed air. Now it comes from the factory with I believe 80 psi pumped in here. You can just take a bike pump or a tire pump and pump it up with more air or take some air out if you want. My pump goes up to 60 psi so I'll probably reduce this tank down to to you know 61 psi so that it'll fill it as much as it can i think that would be correct right i could be wrong no it's got to be less i don't know i gotta do some research on it so on this tank there's only one one hole to hook into and basically i just got a t that'll screw into here and then i got two fittings that'll come off where pex tubing will get attached so what happens is the water comes down the pipe it doesn't matter which way it's coming um, when the system is off, when there's no faucet open, water will fill this tank up and then when it reaches the PSI in the whole system, pump will shut off. And say I were to turn the, the faucet on for, you know, five seconds, it's not going to turn the pump on. It's going to drain this tank. This tank's going to go down until it hits, I believe, like 30 PSI, which that pump kicks back on. And what this does is it prevents the pump from short cycling and it'll make the pump last a little longer. That makes sense. I think so. If that didn't make sense, hire a plumber, because you are lost, you're screwed. So what I can do now is I can take all these fittings and apply Teflon tape to them and get them all hooked up. So now that I have those fittings on, I can tighten these down. I'm gonna take some channel locks. Am I wrong? Probably. So that's hooked up. Now I just got to take the PEX tubing and stick it into that. Uh, I think I already fucked up. If I'm breathing heavy and sweating a lot, it's because it's freaking hot in here. So the first thing I need to do is figure out where all these pieces are going to go. This pump, you can install it any way you want. It doesn't matter. But it does have an inlet and an outlet. There's an arrow pointing that way. There's water in it. There shouldn't be water in a brand new pump, by the way. Whatever. So when I got this, this metal bracket was on in the opposite direction. So I just undid these four screws and flipped it around so that my end goes this way and it goes out that way. So that way I can have this main feed pipe is going to get connected in here, run down here and loop up. It'll connect into the end and it'll all go this way. And that way I can put some like a panel here and I can have my stuff mounted onto it. I don't know what I'm saying. Just bear with me. It'll all make sense by the end of the video. And then my accumulator tank, I really want to put it right in there. I don't know if I can. I'm going to try. I might have the fittings to do it. I mean, that just fits in there nice, and I can strap it to the wall. Yeah, I'm going to try to do that. Now, I really wanted to use three quarter inch piping until it got to where it teed off where I did the hot and cold. But this pump came with these attachments that gets screwed on here and this is only a half inch uh, inside diameter pipe so this stuff won't won't work 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run three quarters to here. I'll come out a half inch. I'll go into here half inch. I'll come out with a half inch. And then it'll go into the tank, the accumulator tank, half inch. It'll come out three quarters of an inch. So that water will feed this. Um, there won't be any air in this system. So if there's a larger pipe, if you have a small pipe feeding a larger pipe, there's not going to be a, a problem. I talked to a plumber and he says it doesn't really matter. Obviously it does because you're typing away. Okay, sorry. So originally I was going to put my electrical panel in my closet, but I think if I position these all correctly, I can put the electrical panel right here. Filter, pump, accumulator, stuff, battery banks, the charge controller and the other thing right there. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to nail a 2x6 onto here and mount this onto the 2x6. That goes like that into here. Make sense? Yeah, I like it. I bought red 3 quarters for this part and then I bought the blue half inch because that's all they had in stock. I could have got red in half inch but um, I think I think it doesn't matter what runs through the pipe, hot or cold water, they're both the exact same. It's just one's red so that when you're looking at the pipe you know that's the hot line and that's the cold line. So let's fire up some tools and install these things. So I have the filter mounted where I wanted it. Um, I placed it here. I, I was going to put it up here, but to run the pipes would have been real difficult. Um, I needed to mount it high because this needs to come off so I can replace the filter every once in a while. So this is a good spot for it, I guess. I can make this connection right here. So I had to buy a coupler and this adapter, which goes down to this, and then I'll screw this into here, and that all gets screwed into there. So that's what I'm working on right now. Gluing this up is going to be your standard. If you just read the back, you know, you want to use primer twice. When the primer's still wet, you want to apply some glue, not like that much, but apply glue to both sides. When you put them together, quarter turn and hold it for 30 seconds. These are semi new pants. I need to make them look cool like the other ones. Cool, so that's hardened up. You can apply this other fitting here. That'll bring it all the way down to the three quarters, which I'm going to have for the beginning of my system. So when I come off this, I want to put a shutoff valve right there so I can turn the water off in case I have a leak or something. So I want to make sure this pipe's going to be right up against there. I want to make sure I have some room to spin this handle. So I'm going to cut like a four inch piece to start out. Now this is just a uh, pipe cutter. It was like ten bucks and it actually works quite easy. I've never done this before. I'm excited. So I'll put those rings on there. I would assume you want it right in the middle which is about an eighth inch away from the end. So you clamp it down. I, I'm using the three quarter inch uh, crimper. Once it's crimped, you can release it. And they got this tool right here. It's a go or no go. So you take the three quarter, spin it around. So I want this valve to be right here. So when I put it on, make sure it's oriented correctly. I had to drain my tanks for this, but these held water for uh, about two weeks with no leaks. Now I need to connect this to here. Before I do that though, I'm going to Teflon tape these and screw them into this thing. Alright, so I got these two fittings bolted in there. Uh, now I can connect this pipe here to here. Now on the top it'll say in and out, so make sure it's going in the correct direction. Put my collar, collar, is that what it's called? I don't know. Also bought these little pipe clips. I'm just going to put one in underneath here so it's not pushing on that too hard. So this pump that I got, the SureFlow pump, it comes with these adapters that get screwed on here. And I half-ass read the instructions, and I believe it said don't use Teflon tape or don't use any type of product. It voids the warranty. I installed it on a block. I nailed the block down, and I also screwed the block down. And then I screwed this down, and it's mounted onto a rubber base. The reviews online, the only negative reviews I found on this thing was that this 
the, the housing separates from the base. So maybe in the future I'll have to make a, a new mount for this so it stays in place. But overall it was good reviews. But most people are using these things in RVs, not full-time living. Uh, it also said use flexible pipe. I'm not sure if that means you can use PEX. Um, I'm going to use this rubber hosing to it. I think this needs to be a certain distance away from this. I think that's enough distance because, I mean, vibrating, it's not going to be fucking too much. I mean, I guess it would make a little difference. But... So I'm not going to use the PEX fasteners on this because I don't know why. I'm just not going to. This is pretty cool so far. I need. I still need to wire this in. This is your hot and your colds. This red wire needs to have a, uh, I believe, a 15 amp breaker on it. I mean, if it's moving more than that, there's some serious problems. On my accumulator tank, I had originally installed a, a three quarter inch fitting on this end, but it needs to be half inch coming into it and then three quarters coming out. So now I can fasten the flexible pipe to this side and I can do the PEX to this side. So that's done, now I gotta get it in there. I mean I'm gonna have to fasten this to the wall somehow, but I'll worry about that later. I can now I can cut this pipe. I wonder if I can re return one foot. I think this ended up being maybe two parts. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you leave a comment down below letting me know what you thought. And if you want to show me some love, click right up there and show your support. Thanks so much for watching, guys.